Hey everybody, um, thanks for clicking on the video. I didn't uh, get the new mixer board in yet, so I'm using an old desktop mic to do this video. Um, I can't see using the mixer board anymore uh, because it's really destroying the microphone sound quality and I can't plug that microphone into a computer. It's got an XLR input, so I'm using an old USB mic. And hopefully I'll be able to get through this video. But i got to do this video. I mean, check out this article. The Pope slams climate change deniers is stupid. What this Jesuit Pope doesn't seem to understand is that most people are not stupid when it comes to what he calls climate change because we are all on the same planet experiencing the same weather changes. Now, yes, we had a few hurricanes, just as we do every year. And just so you know, those hurricanes were bad, yes, but they were not as bad as the media reported them to be. They are obviously pumping up the numbers to help the Pope in his long prophesied agenda regarding climate change. I mean, I'm going to put a link in the comment section below about an animation that I came across that compares hurricanes the last few decades. And Irma, Harvey, and Jose were large storms, yeah, but not the largest. In fact, Matthew was much larger than Harvey, Jose, and Irma was only 15 miles wider than Katrina. And just so you know, Irma was 400 miles wide, but Sandy was 1,120 miles wide, literally engulfing Harvey, Irma, and Jose altogether with three miles to spare. In fact, you could fit another Hurricane Harvey inside Sandy and still have three miles left over. But Irma and Harvey got much more airtime in the media than any other hurricane in history because we now have a Jesuit Pope who needs to do what Satan demands, seeing how he knows his time is so short. Plus, when the Pope says the stupid people should ask the scientists, he is actually talking about his small handful of paid off politically accurate scientists that prophecy declared would be very active in our day. What the Jesuit Pope doesn't seem to realize is the stupid people actually know when he says climate change, he's really talking about global warming. And everyone, including his own scientists, know they messed up and picked the wrong scenario when Al Gore and John Paul II got together to fabricate this whole thing decades ago so as to hide the truth about the soon-to-start seven last plagues that are actually the end result of their agenda, wherein they use the natural disasters as a way to enforce the mark. The fact Al Gore's most recent movie flopped miserably proves the stupid people happened to be living on the same planet, and so the lies were easily seen as just that, a bunch of lies. Because his previous movie spoke of some very scary things that were supposed to happen in nature by the year 2016 that never actually happened, that he and Pope John Paul II predicted. And so they had to change their agenda to enforce the mark from calling it global warming to just plain climate change because they can no longer back up their bad science. Not even the Vatican pawns who claim to be the scientists can effectively cover up what Al Gore's movie boldly failed on when it came to predicting the end results of their global warming. That's why this movie that he just put out flopped because they know his last movie was a pack of lies. And one last thing, as I stated earlier, the Pope only has a small handful of puppets he calls scientists that back his claims, but the stupid people know all about the 31,000 487 scientists that confirmed in writing that global warming is wrong. And Delling Poll stated quite recently that global warming is in fact a myth, according to 58 scientific papers that were published in this very year. Now, don't get me wrong, nature is running a little off kilter, but it is neither climate change, global warming, or even global cooling, even though the present figures do in fact say the planet is actually cooling. The planet has had its normal climate changes and cycles ever since day one, like any other planet in the universe. But what we're seeing now is not normal. It was prophesied to be this way right before Jesus returns to remove his bride from this sin-sick world. And so just as the mountain shook when the Lord descended upon it, when he gave Moses the already understood Ten Commandments that had been the law of the land in New Jerusalem long before mankind was ever even created, well, now the entire planet is convulsing as the day of our Lord's return draws nigh. And by the way, anyone that declares the end is not yet nigh, as John Paul II stated back in 1998, that, my brothers and sisters, is the true definition of stupid. Thank you for watching. God bless.